Okay, we're going to start out with the beginning of the sequencing of this IFC board. Now, this is a fairly generic furnace. It's actually a train, but uh, the board's fairly generic and everything. So, I've got the power on to it, but there's no call for heat. What has the board done when the power up came? What it did is it did a self check and let's get a little closer and you can see that little light down there and if you look in the uh, diagnostic the slow blink like that means I have checked my circuitry everything's okay I am ready to start a sequence for heat I'm going to give this thing a call for heat now what it's going to do when it first calls for heat it's going to check the limit switches and it's going to check the pressure switch limit switch should be closed pressure switch should be open if either of those are in the wrong position it's going to stop the sequence right there saying this furnace is not ready to fire go ahead and put a call for heat which means I'm just going to take this little wire here okay now you notice let's get close to that thing again okay we have a three blink code so why do we have a three blink code if I look that up on the uh, key here it says pressure switch closed okay let's look at what I have actually done here now let's look close at the pressure switch now I've jumpered the pressure switch out that means the pressure switch is closed before the unit went to start up that means when I first put the uh, uh, call for heat this unit went around and checked to see if the limit switches were open and they should be closed or the pressure switch is closed and it should be open remember that pressure switch is there to prove that the inducer motor came on and pulled a vacuum on the heat exchanger and it should be open until the call for heat turns on the inducer and then it should close okay now let's see what happens if I take that jumper off of my pressure switch hey, uh, my do inducer just came on okay it came on because it saw an open pressure switch now it's going to begin the cycle let's check one other thing in this video and see what would happen if we had a limit switch that was open. Now here we have a normal blinking code and we're going to try to fire this up again by giving a call for heat. Okay now something entirely different happened here the circulating fan went off and you'll notice we have a four blink code so the control attempted to start but it saw something wrong and it stopped the sequence so what happened this time let's take a look okay if you look, you see I have actually removed this uh, wire from the limit switch here. Okay, it saw an open limit. It says I'm not going any farther. I need to cool this thing down, so I'm going to turn on the fan. So that's what it does. That's the first two failures that this could have that's going to stop this sequence. First one, of course, was a the pressure switch was closed when it should have been open and the second one is the limit switch was open meaning it's overheated 
So in the next video, we'll look at a couple of more safety issues on this thing that could happen that could shut down the sequence before it gets uh, the burner's light.